With a predicted global television audience of 3 billion people, the eyes of the world will be on St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on Saturday as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are married by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. In a move from tradition, the couple have asked the presiding bishop of the US-based Episcopal Church, Michael Curry, to preach the sermon. After final rehearsals on Friday, Archbishop Justin and presiding Bishop Michael spoke to the media and were asked how significant it was that a person of mixed race was becoming a member of Britain's royal family. Well, it, it is in one sense and isn't in another. Um, I suppose it is because different worlds are being brought together, whether that's nationalities, whether that's ethnicity, um, whether that's broader backgrounds, and so different worlds are being brought together. <clears throat> but it isn't in another sense. Because uh, the truth is, um, and this is one of the things we celebrate tomorrow um, in a marriage, that we all were created by the same God. And that God created us because as the Bible says, God is love. And, and we've been created by that very love of God. Um, and if we're created from, from God, we're already related. We're part of God's family. And so this is a marriage in the family already in a sense. And so, yeah. so in a sense, it's different, and in a sense, no, it's being who we are. I think, uh, yeah, I entirely agree with that. I think the great miracle of Christian faith is that in Christ, every difference that builds barriers is broken down. And that's just such a beautiful thing. And this service tomorrow exemplifies that, but as does the day-to-day -day life of the church exemplify that, that God in Christ breaks down the barriers between human beings and creates what is intended in God is that the human family is one. Meghan Markle's father Thomas will not be at the service because of ill health and it was announced today that Prince Charles the Prince of Wales will accompany her as she walks down the aisle at the start of the service. I think it's very beautiful I mean it's up to them who who does it but I think it's a very beautiful thing uh, the Prince of Wales is someone of great care and affection. He's a, a very warm person and uh, that he's doing this is a sign of his love and concern um, and support and I think it's, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. On a lighter note, the Archbishop was asked how they would control the many bridesmaids and page boys, the youngest being just two years old. Uh, I'm glad to say that's really not our problem. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure there will be. It'll be beautiful.